Welcome to Battery B for Friday Light Artillery. So the original artillery projectiles that were fired during the Civil War and recovered, many of them failed to explode or had a problem. Basic 12-pound uh, case shot is right there. That would be fired out of the Napoleon gun. It's compared to what a six-pound of smooth war gun prior to the American Civil War. Basic artillery was available. As rifle guns began to develop, the smooth bore six pounder cannon could be rifled up to fire these type of projectiles and weigh 10 to 12 pounds, yet use the same amount of powder to fire that shell. These would go about 200 yards further in distance. This particular projectile was missing its lead band that must have come off when it was fired. Hence, it failed to hit the point which had the percussion cap which would have exploded the shell. This is a James rifle projectile. When the gun fired, the gases from the powder would go into this hollow part, expand, hit the lead, and allow the lead to go into the rifle and allow the bullet to spin and accurately come out of the cannon. Get some brown sugar for the beans. Uh, these are different sure canister round sizes. They would have a tin can full of these with an iron plate at the base and the top. So no matter which way you throw the can uh, canister round into the cannon barrel and gun fired, the iron plate would disintegrate the tin can and throw these iron pellets out at a very high velocity in front of the gun to turn the can into a giant shotgun. These are some of the fuses that they were attached to the different projectiles. It's called Bormann fuse. And if you see the serration markings on the outside edges, and this is a five second fuse, it could be make the projectile explode from a quarter second up to five seconds, depending on what distance you were aiming at different times you wanted that fuse to burn down to the main bursting charge of the cannonball. These are some of the kind of rear sights that were available during the Civil War to sight the field piece. This one here is still a 12 pound Napoleon gun. They call it a pendulum boss sight. So both level your sight and also advance your rear sight to match your front sight to what you're aiming at. And once you had all that lined up, you could read here anywhere from zero to five degree elevation. Once you knew your angle of elevation, now you knew what time to cut your fuses so the cannonball would explode what gap you were aiming at.